Notify Lung Testing reclassifies risk of malignancy for patients with low to moderate risk lung nodules to help physicians determine the next steps in the diagnostic plan. Test results are personalized by calculating a post-notify risk of malignancy so that physicians can evaluate the patient's biological response to the nodule as part of their clinical decision-making. Test results can also be easily incorporated into guideline-recommended diagnostic pathways based on the percentage risk of malignancy. A recent case study by Dr. Scott Skibo demonstrates how the Notify CDT test can help identify patients who should be prioritized for diagnostic intervention. An X-ray of a 64-year-old female patient admitted for a fall revealed a nodular opacification of the lung. Subsequent CT scan identified a spiculated 10 millimeter nodule in her upper right lobe. Her pretest risk of malignancy was 39%, but the patient was not comfortable moving forward with a diagnostic procedure. Notify lung testing was ordered, and a Notify CDT high-level result was returned one day after the blood draw, with a post-Notify risk of malignancy of 90%. Through shared decision-making, the patient proceeded with navigational bronchoscopy for nodule biopsy and EBUS bronchoscopy for medial stinal staging. Final diagnosis was stage 1A1 adenosquamous carcinoma, representing the potential for curative resection. Another recent case study from Dr. Kyle Hogarth demonstrates how the Notify XL2 test can help avoid invasive procedures on benign nodules by identifying those with a lower risk of malignancy than indicated by traditional clinical factors alone. A CT scan of a 74-year-old male with severe COPD being evaluated for bronchoscopic lung volume reduction and valve placement revealed a spiculated 10 millimeter nodule in the medial aspect of the left upper lobe with a pretest risk of malignancy of 49%. Subsequent PET CT showed an SUV of 7.0 concerning for primary lung malignancy. The Notify XL2 likely benign test result was returned with a post-Notify risk of malignancy of 6%. Based on the Notify XL2 result, as well as the patient's high surgical risk due to the nodule location and comorbidities, a three-month follow-up CT scan was scheduled. The follow-up scan demonstrated a reduction in size to 7 millimeters, indicating an inflammatory or benign etiology. These two cases demonstrate how blood-based testing can reclassify risk of malignancy for two nodules with similar preliminary risk assessments. The personalized results from Notify testing helped lead to the appropriate management of each patient through a single blood draw.